Okay, so one of the other tests you have to do with your basalt fiber is you have to, um, well, I'm sorry, one of the tests you have to do with your aircrete is you have to time how long it takes to fill up a gallon and a half of water. So, I'm just getting my timer set here so we can do this test. Okay. So I have my uh, stopwatch here. The stopwatch. And I have a one gallon container. I'm going to turn the water on now and time how long it takes to fill this up. And um, her jar on the website says one and a half gallons per minute is the ratio you want to use. Um, so I'm experimenting. I'm going to be using one gallon per minute because uh, I felt like it was too watery the first time I made it. So I got my stopwatch here. I'm going to turn on the power, which is going to activate the solenoid to allow the water to flow through. And then uh, the valve adjustment, I'm going to control how much water comes out. So this here is going to be full throttle water. So we don't want that. I'm lowering it. And about here is where I'm going to test it from. So I'm starting my timer. And I'm going to see if it takes a minute to fill up one gallon. seems like too much already. I'm almost halfway and it's already getting full. So I'm going to lower the water. I see the water being lowered. And I'm going to redo this test. Okay, start the timer and uh, allow this to fit. seconds 20 30 seconds it's 30 seconds and I'm already um, only a quarter way full so I know I need more water so I'm just going to increase the flow the water flow Stop and reset my timer. Empty the gallon out. Start it. We'll see how long this takes to fill. at 30 seconds and it's a little past halfway. Forty seconds. flow rate I probably would have had one and a half gallons a minute but I'm looking for one gallon a minute right now Thirty seconds, and I'm a little bit past halfway. All right, I'm full. 
at 50 seconds again. Um, trying to adjust it, very small adjustment, so I can get my numbers I'm looking for. Try it again. I got one minute right there and it's almost full so I'm just gonna increase it a little bit and go with that and we'll see how that works um, if you use a clean bucket which I didn't you can take the water and dump it into your soap solution so you're not wasting any water but I didn't think about doing that before I poured it. Okay. So now we're going to make some uh, air creep with the salt fiber top mixing. So I got my phone. This can't get messy because I didn't make a perfect cut here. The, uh, the saw got a little out of hand and took a little more off than I want it so it splatters a little so big deal right okay so I'm gonna hook everything up hook up my air hook up my power for the water pump or for the uh, solution pump plug in my ear okay everything's on I'm gonna lock the drill Okay, so all the uh, concrete, all the concrete I put in the hopper is has uh, almost all been used. You can see I had it filled up to about here. Um, I'm stopping it there because the bucket was almost full of air creep. So that's my air creep mix. So now I'm going to take that and uh, pour it into those molds that I have. So we'll be back with that. <laughs> 